We have been celebrating Joshua's one year anniversary of working and I want to do this surprise for him, but he came with me to the grocery store so I had to kind of be a little sneaky. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell and we have eight children and we are Just the Bells 10. Yes, I had to be sneaky because I planned on getting the surprise before we did our big day, but it didn't end up that way. So I had to be a little sneaky with buying these groceries. And I have to tell you, he was such a good sport. Like I thought he'd get mad and he didn't, like he helped me. So I'm gonna show you a few of those clips from the grocery store of him helping me buy the groceries for his, his own surprise. I tell you what, this just shows to me how much of a sweetheart he even is. Because I thought, this isn't gonna go well. He's gonna be upset. He's, I mean, he did look at me kind of weird like, yeah, but I like those things. And he was just so felt helpful. And if you see, well, you'll see in the videos I'm gonna share with you is um, he even says, oh, but we gotta get Izzy's favorite too. And I'm like, wow, wow. He was a little torn when I said, we gotta find a cooler. He was just kind of looking at me like, what? So here are the videos of him helping me get the stuff at the grocery store. Oh, what a sweet look. All right, so we got them the kids' Lunchables. Thank you for helping me pick those out. And then which, which drinks? I'm gonna get them some ice Mom, drinks too, Josh. Get them some of these. Which, what? Like these? Ooh, I don't like those. But those ice drinks, which, isn't your favorite ice drinks? Which kind do you like? Uh, no, these ice drinks down here, like these packs. Like these do you like those cans better than the packs? Wish you like. For the little kids, they drink those. For as you know, they drink those. I drink these. So, do you think these would like those? We can get them some for this week. I'd rather give them those because, because I'll just give them one of these because then they. Is that is that what you? Because if they want it, like, but is that what you would pick? Yeah, too. Okay, then just grab one of those they, for the kids. If they want to close it and try to put it back. Oh, that's a, a good idea. And if they, if you get one of these, and they can't. They, they can't well, because if you open it, this you one's have probably to the best. It. That has the the watermelon. Okay, grab one of those for them. You're so nice to help us with this. Hmm. All right, so we'll get those. So Josh, he was so nice to pick out our drinks and then the things for the kids. That's very and sweet. Is, and let me is, see. Oh, and Josh flavor. picked out this because he works so hard out cutting wood. So he's gonna get one of those. I all, have I told you lately how nice you look in that sweatshirt? All right, so now we're looking for the big Butterfingers. This is so hard keeping this from him. He thinks we're really doing it for the kids. Okay, and then and then Noah said he really liked Butterfingers. Yeah. So let's get him a couple of big size Butterfingers to go on their lunch. Wow, okay, that looks great. And Izzy likes, what she likes, she I think likes she likes like. Butterfingers too, so let's stick with the Butterfingers to keep it simple. Does she need a pack of chips? And they want a cooler too, so let's go look at the coolers. I know, right? Wasn't he adorable? Like, he was so helpful. I got up yesterday morning, really, really early in the morning, and I got this whole, you can see it, the, the streamers are still here. I got everything together, um, and I made him coffee, and got him pancakes and, and sausage, and I just wanted to surprise him when he woke up. Um, I was going to do it the night before, but Lunchables have to be refrigerated. And I kind of didn't want to like, you know, have it all go bad. I mean, he didn't even get to use them. Then they go bad. Anyway, so I put this all together for him. And I did video him like trying to wake him up. Good morning. But I didn't really want to put that on TV because, or, you know, on YouTube. I don't want to share my kids sleeping. I, I think... That was kind of a brain fart. <laughs> I have lots of brain farts. So anyway, I, I'm like hollering down the stairs, Joshy, get up, get up, I got something for you. So you'll, you've will seen some of the video where he, um, well, no, you haven't seen it yet, but you will see it. Um, but he was really excited. And as you're gonna see in the videos, he loved everything, but he loved the coffee. He even did like a little slurp for us, like a <laughs> slurp. Um, so now I'm gonna show you those of him getting up and checking everything out. And um, he was concerned that the that the cooler we got him wasn't gonna fit into the refrigerator. He's he's like the sweetest guy ever. Like I don't, he just thinks so differently where I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking how fun would it be for him to be, you know, get all this stuff. And he's like, but mom, I gotta make sure there's, there's room in the refrigerator and other people have their lunches in there. And so I gotta make sure they have room for theirs. And I'm thinking, 
I mean, can you get any sweeter? Like really, could you get any sweeter? So here are those videos of him waking up, seeing everything and kind of what he thought. Um, so let's watch those. So we are proud of you. Happy one year <sighs> working. I picked up all your favorite stuff. Now, remember yesterday when we were shopping? Yes. You thought this was for Josh and Izzy, but I was really picking it out for you, so I tricked uh. you. <laughs> so I got your favorite drinks, and you got a lunch pail. Yep. Picked up Lunchables and your favorite. And look at these, full-size candy bars. Oh, I didn't even know that until. I know. I tricked you. Wow. <laughs> I tricked you. Oh, man. That's I'm funny. pretty good, aren't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you picked it all out. All right. Josh, you like this stuff? You like your stuff? Yes. Yes. And you're going to drink that coffee and the pancakes and sausage? Yes. Okay. All right. This is a nice start to your morning, isn't it? I need to put some creamer in it. It's we are. We're going to put cream in it right now. Congratulations. Bye, you <laughs> So you've worked for a year. Yes. Do you plan on doing anything different this year? Just keep working harder? Are you expecting to be the manager of the store this year? What is your big plans for working this year? How are you going to make it better than last year? Even though you are the hardest worker ever. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Just keep doing your job and being a help to people. And do you, do you like bagging groceries? Oh, yeah. And you like helping outside and... And stock shelves, too. And stock... Oh, you stock shelves now? I do that when... <laughs> when there's people like bagging groceries. I don't have to do it. Oh, so whenever you... Because it's like... There's like a... Thing going on for like the food one type people there's a group of people comes and there's a table sitting down and then me I just go clock in and then come down and then go straight to uh, so, shelves until they call me up to do garbage so what's your favorite thing to do at work Carts and garbage. Carts and garbage. How come you don't do my garbage really well then? <laughs> because I got a dumpster. I can use a shovel to push it down. And I see. Key. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> well, good job. And here's to another year of working. <laughs> Is that Thank good? You. Is that good? Yes, yes. Love you. Love you too. I actually grabbed some coffee. While you guys were watching that, I thought, let's grab a cup of coffee. Um, he, he really did like it. Um, he came home last night, and it was completely gone. Like, the cooler was empty. He had a little bit of a drink left, and I said, hey, can mom have that? And he's like, yes, because he bought himself a tea. So he devoured the Lunchable. He devoured the candy bar. I mean, he just really, really loved it. And um, I'll show you. So he's got his little cooler right there. So I'm not allowed to put it up. It's got to be there ready to go for lunches. I mean, I know, right? Like every time I, I, I show Josh or I talk to Josh, it's just, and I got the best hugs from him. Like he really, he just like hugged me and hugged me and hugged me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, can you get any cuter? Please stop getting so cute. Um, I'm actually going to take him to Florida with me this summer. I'm going to get him out of work and have him go to vacay with us this summer. So I'm pretty excited. Actually, it's not summer. It's like March-ish, but oh, yeah. And um, tomorrow we're actually going to be going to town and we're going to make like, hopefully nobody from Super One sees this, but he wants to get a big basket. And so we are going to um, write a list out. He's going to get a piece of paper, write a list out of things he'd like to put in this basket. He wanted to take pizzas. Well, he wanted to take pizzas, but he's like, I'm embarrassed. I'm not taking pizzas. I'm like, why are you embarrassed? Like that doesn't, you know, but he, he, he's like, he says, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to take pizzas. And I said, okay, let's try something else. And we're going to find a basket. We're going to put like a bunch of goodies in it and just thank them because, you know, a shout out to super one. Like, I mean, they didn't have to hire him, you know, and, and the manager, Mike was absolutely amazing. Like I, 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 when he had his interview, Excuse me, I just sat in the back corner because I really wanted him to do it himself. And did I want to stand there and hold his hand and answer for him? Absolutely I did. But I'm learning that even though he does struggle and 
you know, he does have some things that he's, you know, I'm just going to say he has things he struggles with. I, as a mom, I want to like step in and I want to answer those questions. And, and the other day when we went and got his ID and the guy was asking him questions, I just kind of stood back and I let him answer those. And if he needed help, he would look at me, you know, like they asked him if he wanted to be an organ donor. And he looked at me and I'm thinking, how do you... How do you tell somebody who doesn't quite understand stuff what an organ donor was? That was so, that was worse than like sharing the bird, the, wait, wait, the birds and the bees? No, the bees and the bird. What is it when you talk about stuff with your kids? The birds and the bees? What is it? Oh my goodness, I feel stupid. If you want to comment below and tell me what it is, but you know what I'm talking about. It was harder than that because I'm like, I said, it's when, like, if you pass away, I'm trying to be nice. You know, I don't like to say like dead, you know, and I'm like, if you pass away and there's people that are sick and they, maybe they're looking for a heart or lungs and, and, and if you're healthy, they can use those for them to live. If you, and he's like, okay, yeah, sure. And, and I didn't want to like say eyes and skin because I think he'd kind of look at me weird. So that was really hard to explain to him, like what being an organ donor is, you know, and it's, it, you don't think of those things until the, the questions are asked or asked and you're like, and, and the guy that's taken the ID, I think he kind of sensed that something, you know, that, that Josh, he needed a little bit of help. And so now I'm trying to explain this and the guy just smiled. Anyway, um, so I went off on another tangent. I seem to do that. My mind, this is like a fifties mind. If you turn 50, your mind, you're going to want to say like 14 things at once. Anytime I get on camera with you guys, I just like, you know, I feel like I'm in like a band, but anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, shout out to super one, shout out to the manager, Mike, who was absolutely amazing with Josh. And, and what was so amazing about him, not only is he like one of the nicest guys, like he's really one of those people that you're like, wow, you're so nice, but he was engaged with Josh he really looked at him and he invested in him and he treated him with respect and he treated him like an adult. And he asked Joshua questions and he asked Joshua some, some harder questions that Josh had to really think about. Then after the interview, he told him what the rate was. Um, he says, I'd like to hire you. And, and Josh was like, yeah, you know, and he shook his hand and I thought, wow, he shook his hand and said, you know, we'll be so happy to have you. And it was just a blessing to me just because he treated him like an adult, because I don't know if any of you out there have children who have disabilities. A lot of people don't treat them like, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. And my makeup's already messing my eyes up. You know, a lot of people don't treat them like adults. They don't treat them like they have a brain, like they can think. They they talk down to them like they're a two-year-old. They don't have respect for them. Some of the times they get bullied. And so just seeing that manager just really respect Josh and treat him like a man and, and just talk to him, didn't talk at him and didn't talk down to him. He talked to him and I just, I, I just can't say enough. Like I just can't say enough of this manager. Like if you want to support, support super one, you know, we, we shop there we shop at, at several different places. You know, we, I, I think I, I need to start shopping there more. I need to support that, that store, you know, because we do, I do go grocery shopping there because they really have a really good variety of stuff. And I like to get stuff with no nitrates and nitrates and they have a really big line of that stuff. Um, and we do, we do, you see all my hauls for Myers and Walmart, but we do go to super one too. I just kind of split things up, but you know what though? I think that I'm going to try to start going there more. I think I'm going to go there more just because I do really feel like I need to support my local community more. Um, we also do sell our eggs and plus they buy our eggs. And so it just makes sense. Somebody asked me the other day, well, do you go grocery shopping there? And I do, but I need to more. I need to more because it just makes sense, right? These big, bo these big box stores, they don't support us like these smaller stores. And a lot of the times the reason I go to the big ones is because there's less people so I can vlog with you guys. <laughs> I feel so stupid when people are staring at me and it's so nice when there's nobody around. So maybe I could go like super early in the morning at super one or go like super, super late at night. You know, maybe I'll do that. You know, 
Um, but we do shop there. They do have like really good meats. We actually just picked up some nice shrimp and, and some like seafood over the holidays. So that was nice. And they're all really nice there. Like Joshua has like five moms. Like he has so many women that look up to look, look, ugh, not look up to him, but they look after him. And if there's something going on, they'll let me know. Like they're just so kind, so sweet. He just loves them all. And so that's one of the reasons we want to make a basket just because I'm very thankful for the opportunity. <sighs> uh, my husband is getting interviewed by TV six and they just drove through my yard and they're going to get stuck in the woods. That's really weird. Okay. Oh, that was kind of, you don't see a TV station just drive through your front yard often. And they just did. Um, but I really do want to get this basket together. I want to thank them for what they did for Josh. Josh wants to thank them for what they did for him. And I, it just, I feel like I just need to give back, I pay it forward, whatever, give back. Um, so that video you're going to be seeing soon. I think we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to go today, but my husband was like, oh yes, I get Joshy today. We're going to do some work. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to take him shopping. Dad wants him. So before work, I think we're going to get that ready. We're going to work on our cards tonight, work on the list tonight. So we have a plan for tomorrow. And then um, you'll see us kind of vlogging all that. So I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I just, I'm so thankful. I mean, he loves his job. People are so kind to him. Like everybody is so kind to him. Like they really are very kind. Like like genuinely kind to him. And I'm just really thankful for that just because a lot of people wouldn't give him a chance like they did. And they're known for giving everybody a chance. And I'm just, I'm very, very thankful. It was hard enough sending him there by himself and watching him go to the grocery store by himself and work by himself. It was so hard, but now it's like we drop him off. I park at a certain place. He knows where to look for me. Um, you know, he's got, a, he's got the schedule now and he, you know, we got made his board in his bedroom. So he knows when he works and it's just, I know I've been rambling for like, it says nine minutes and 50 seconds, but I'm just truly, truly thankful. And thank you so much, you guys, for all your support and your kind words and for loving Josh, like he's your own son. You just don't even know how much that means to me when I see all the kind words of Josh and how, when we celebrate something, you guys celebrate with us. And it's just... I'm a little emotional today. I don't I don't know. I did get really good sleep last night, but thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate your support on our page. I know we're smaller. People, not as many people see our, our stuff as others, you know, but you know, we're okay with that. I just, you guys are the blessed ones. You few, you get to see us in action. You get to see our family dynamics. You get to see how we work. You get to see like real life. Like I do some editing just because Sometimes like my fingers will be in something or something will cut off or, you know, so I do have to edit. Plus, I don't think you want to see us walking across the yard for an hour. That don't make no sense to me, but, but to end, thank you so much for being a part of the celebration. We have one more thing to do just to complete this and wrap this all up, but thank you so much for your support. And if you don't subscribe to us, come on, man, subscribe to Just the Bells 10. It's only going to get better. We have so many fun things planned this year and I'm gonna meet some some people I met through TikTok. That's gonna be super exciting. And we just, we got a lot of fun things planned this year. And I do really think that we might be having a big event or the start of an event happening. And I'm really excited about that. Hopefully she lets me video it because you know, she's gotta approve it. So for the third time, thank you so much for being here and listening to me talk about my son, Josh. And super one, because I'm thankful. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.